violent. I apologize for the long absence. I hope that you're not too disappointed in me. I had a couple of messages waiting for me. They were wanting to know where I was. Why I hadn't been uploading videos, etc. And that made me feel guilty, and it was also nice to know that people enjoy my videos and like it when I make more, and I'm just so happy about it. So. summer for two weeks in France. So that was really fun. We went to Paris and to a really small town to stay with some people that I'm not sure I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this, but before my sophomore year, no, excuse me, junior year of high school, so that'd be, that'd be right before 11th grade, if you're not an American and you don't know about sophomores, or juniors, excuse me, I went and stayed in France for a month. from college, my mom and this couple, and they haven't seen each other in like 10 years, so I think they were really happy to see each other again, but, well, I ran out of air, but, that's the edge right there, but they're very busy, oldest daughter, they have five children, their oldest daughter is getting married, so there was a lot of preparation to do, lots going on. One thing that was really neat about visiting them is their house. itself, but rather one of the exterior guard towers, which was quite old and quite big. It fit a family of seven in it comfortably, so the, it's a tower with many, many floors. Six, but they're they're relatively small, actually. So you go up, up, up in the house, and the rooms. The house kind of splits up into rooms, bedrooms. The higher up you get, but it's very cool. Although they have a very very tiny kitchen, I was shocked. It's the size of an American walk-in closet. I am not exaggerating. It was tiny. It was about the size of my bathroom. I have a 
a very large bathroom, but, but, um, anyway, but it was great to see them. just a really wonderful, wonderful event. After that, we went to the countryside. And we went to see the prehistoric cave paintings at Lascaux. It was just really cool. The region is very wooded, quite green. It was so beautiful. The the scenery at every turn it was just amazing. I was blown away. Little winding roads, curving, curving windy streets and charming middle age buildings and churches. It was just the most amazing, beautiful place. Can't imagine cobblestone streets and adorable little farmhouses that look like they've been painted there by some inspired hand or seen from a movie was really lovely. And then we went and we saw the caves themselves. Well, not exactly. The caves we went to see are the prehistoric cave paintings. So this was done by a species of man called Cro-Magnon. And they're a lot like humans. Actually, exactly the same. They look like us. I can't remember how they're different, but they said that if you met one, if you were to meet one, they would look exactly the same as a modern human. So that was really cool, but I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. The caves. You can't go into the actual caves. because they used to be open to tourists, but all of the people in the air began to damage the paintings. So they sealed off the actual paintings, and now you can only see sort of a life-size recreation of the cave, but it was very remarkable identical, and also it was underground, too. It wasn't in a museum, but you could see evidence of symbols, like language. Of course, we can't understand them, but it still is remarkable. So, yes. After that, we flew home. Love you.